Guys, we're getting rid of the gold today. Yo, what up guys, welcome back. Today, we're gonna go to the garage, mainly take off the rest of the gold wrap on off the FRS, but since we got rid of the Celica, I need a daily again. And uh, I'd rather wait until all of the snow is completely gone for good, uh, according to the weather network, uh, until I bring out either the Super or the FRS. So we're just gonna bring the XB back. I mean, we're still kind of working on it, the uh, tiny home part of the interior. But if I can just kind of clean it up, I can keep the cabinets out for now. I'm going to be making it my daily again. So, yeah. We'll see you guys at the garage. Oh, thanks, so <laughs> just couldn't get through. Come on, bro. Dude, if I had my car, there's no way I'd risk getting up on this car. Are you actually on it right now? Yeah. Aw. Well, well, I mean, it's yeah, no choice. Made. Dude, he was actually honking his horn. All right. Guaranteed. Uh, I need to charge the battery. Remember, guys, I haven't driven the XB in maybe like three months. We have no choice but to make this the daily for the next, for just the next few weeks, you know? It's not gonna be too long until the spring, so. But, let's give this a shot anyway. Is this still a or no? Yeah, of course not. Yo, not, a, uh, not anymore, it was just the rears that did. Yeah, no problem. I trust this, man. And while Shane helps me unwrap the FRS, I can continue working on the XB. Uh, I actually found extra insulation upstairs, which I can use for uh, the underneath of the floorboards. So um, yeah, I'll finalize the cabinet system. Um, might not install it in the XB today uh, since we're taking it home, but uh, we'll try to get as far into uh, just finalizing all the cabinets uh, in terms of like painting it black and uh, staining the wood, as well as seeing how far we can get into unwrapping the FRS. So, yeah. Guys, we're getting rid of the gold today. So we'll start with taking off the wide body. Plus, we got everything we need for the EDFC, the uh, automatic dampening system. All right here. Just need to put in the time and effort. <laughs> oh, thanks, guys. <laughs> Beauty. You can start with even the roof, bro. What about the banner here? Are you gonna leave that? Uh, frick, nah. Get rid of the banner, too. Side mirrors? The side mirrors, all the gold, bro. Yeah. Just kick out. Let's do it. Some of the oil leak. Yeah. This thing was leaking a little bit of oil. For real, for real, guys. This is the last time you'll be seeing this gold. Forever. Never again. It was a conversation starter, to say the least. And I would draw so much attention, even just simply getting gas. I don't know, man. It's just, it's hard to maintain. And also, it's, well, it was just difficult to install in the very beginning. Plus, I don't know if I really want all that much attention. Even though this thing just calls for it anyway. Peace gold. Oh shit, what? It's not even in. Oh, all right, you can open the trunk now. What was that? <laughs> Woo! Pretty good shit. What well, that piece was in too, whatever. Are you? Slick, oh my god. Yeah. car looks way better when it's black. I'd have to agree with you there, sir. <laughs> Dang, yeah, this seriously. Is the factory paint too. It is Raven Black, and the fact that all of the kit is actually painted, uh, paint matched Raven Black means I don't really have to do anything to it, man. Just keep it black as is, and it'll look pretty badass. Batmobile, Birdmobile. Found some here last week. Yeah. Fire resistant, fire and soundproof insulation. Bring this entire thing downstairs. So we're gonna quickly put some insulation into the XB, just 
because I found a whole pack upstairs. Pretty much what we have to do is just fill all the empty space with the insulation. Now these two areas I'm still going to be using as my secret compartment space, so I'm not going to put any in there. But everywhere else, the other empty space, like in between here, I'm just going to stuff insulation in there. And that'll hopefully prevent it from getting too cold during the winter time. <laughs> so try not to use your bare hands because insulation can cause a lot of irritation afterwards, which is definitely what happened. This has fiberglass in it. I really like. Maybe I shouldn't be handling this with my bare hands. And once you got a sufficient amount of insulation in, I mean, this is okay for what we're gonna be using it for. You can put the flooring back in, and then I'm just gonna finalize all the silver trim on the edges, uh, and then figure out uh, the mounting points for the cabinet system and the cot. So when we're driving, they don't actually move. I still have to mount them into the floor somehow. Figuring out how to make it look clean at the end of the day. quick and easy and it just levels everything. I wish I could get flatter screws but these are the only ones I had on hand. But yeah, kind of borders everything nicely. Makes everything a little cleaner looking. Done with XB. Let's get back to unwrapping. Yep. Oh shit, this is together with this. One sec. Hey man. Hey man. What the heck? You're supposed to have gnats. Oh, okay, okay. Take two, take two. You know what? We're good. Pile and paper, got them talking nice to me. Down the bottle, it be going right through me. Brown baby, down to take a flight to me. Dude, I hope. <laughs> I really just needed a ride to the garage. Appreciate. Shane helped me unwrap some of the pieces. Oh man, don't worry about it. I gotta rebuffer everything anyway. Yo, some of the areas, like here, it kind of, the paint peeled off of the wrap, unfortunately, but uh, that's the car painter's job to prep it proper. So I might take this back to Josh. That's not supposed to happen. I mean, you can see he did kind of sand it though. But yeah, stuff like that's bound to happen. Just side skirts left, and I still do have to take the front bumper off. But we getting there. Woo! Back to black guys with a hint of green. What's funny is like you can kind of see it in the windows. Actually, we have the chrome green window tint so that's why are you done with wrap covering for now but we are choosing a different color actually if you guys want to choose a color for me i'm not like a hundred percent set in stone yet comment down below what color you think i should choose for the frs next Look at this. This is probably one of the greatest tools I've ever bought for myself. It's like a right angle drill attachment. So let, let me show you how this works, okay? Put it in a regular drill. Screw bit is a little bit too small, but let me show you how this works. So for places like this where the screw is in there, but it's too small of an area for you to get a screwdriver into. And this is so you don't have to take your wheel off every time. Check this. Lefty Lucy's. Beauty. <laughs> FYI, here's the little souvenirs you get when you own a wide body. Look at those ones, those are huge. Taking off the diffuser setup on this thing, so much work. It's okay, this is what I signed up for. 
Although this is probably like over 20, 25 times I've taken on and off the body kit now. Just can't make up my mind how I want this thing to end up looking like, but I do have a vision. It's just in the car game, it's never ending. You guys know what I mean. <laughs> We got like 16 pieces left to take the gold off. Actually, Shane helped out and uh, got the major pieces. Um, got the side skirts, a couple of the aprons. Really is just handling uh, my previous work. <laughs> and I did a pretty thorough job wrapping the gold, like too good of a job. So uh, it's too well tucked and uh, my fingernails are hurting. Once this is all off, I'm probably gonna keep it black for a bit. <laughs> Also because the color that I do want to order in is out of stock from all of the suppliers, even everywhere in the States. So I have to go back to the drawing board on that one or just keep it black, like I said. FYI, die cut banners like this that have tons of tiny little pieces, no bueno. It took me like an hour and I couldn't feel my fingers after. Guys, only reason why I'm not using a window scraper is because I have window protection film on this, so I don't want to scrape that off with it. I have to meticulously use my fingernails. This is actually super strenuous. It's okay. It's gonna look super clean once it's all off. Never again. So I had to make a little room so we could fit this thing in here. Angus is working on putting some window protection film on it. The F-Type R Jaguar. This thing is like a $100,000 car. <laughs> Monies. It's nice, but I've never really been into Jaguars. It's a convertible too. Cool, man. All right, final pieces, just the side skirts and that's pretty much it. It's just, I don't know if I have to lift it or take off the rear wheels because there's two screws in here that are really hard to get to. Um, but I'll try my best. Uh, earlier, I used that tool, but refinding those holes, it gets tough. That's it guys, all of the gold's finally off. We're back to black. To me, this is such a beautiful sight. I, I don't even know why I went gold, okay, to be honest. But to get y'all caught up, we're back down to three core main KMR cars out of the Dream 5. We got the Mini K Camper XB, the soon-to-be supercar killer A90 Supra, and of course, the car that started it all, my main bae, Renee. This one will always have a special place in my heart, and is definitely a car that I'm never gonna be letting go of. I owe this thing a lot, so I have to do right by her and maintain her to pristine standards because I've been neglecting her. Again, having too many projects all on your plate means uh, you lack the right amount of focus that you're supposed to be putting into all of them. So this is good for us. Three cars to play around with. And the other two, I'll keep you guys guessing, but most of you on this channel already know what one of my dream cars that I really want in my possession is going to be. So hopefully sometime in the future, we, we got our whole life. Now this is probably one of my favorite color schemes. Just all black with a hint of Kelly green. So pretty. And uh, I'm gonna keep the spoiler off because not in the best condition. Might rewrap it or repaint it, 
so I'll keep it off for now. And also, the diffuser is just really hard to put on too. Both the Varus diffuser and my aggressive ass diffuser that my friends at Infamous helped me build. I'm gonna just keep that off for now too. Also, probably wash this in the next day or so. Yeah, that's it, guys. Let's conclude this video. I'm gonna set you guys down. Yeah, we good. Back to black, the Raven Black factory color. Um, what I've learned throughout all my years is it's way easier to complicate things than it is to simplify. So remember, and this is such a cliche, simplicity is key. Or in the famous words of Marie Kondo, the best way to find out what we really need in our lives is to learn how to let go of the things we really don't need. I think that's how it went. Uh, and for me, I really need to learn how to let go more. Appreciate you guys for watching. Thanks. I'll see you in the next video. Bye. Also, another two cents, never do car stuff with a hoodie that has chains for strings. I've been scratching it all over the place, but it's so bad. That was simply delusion, followed up with confusion. That was just substitute.